we should stop and get out. But put the vehicle in park. Deegan's constant battle with gravity seems very painful. To finish, Deegan sideswipes a garbage can, then nearly falls in one. <laughs> Next up is Kurt. Kurt begins by swishing past the building and through the first turn. Well, you got lots of room this side. That's the best exit we've had, Kurt. So far, so good. Kurt's good until the halfway mark, where he knocks down a rim, then gets wedged on it. Careful, Frank. Yep. Can I hit it? Yeah, you bumped it a bit. It's only about $400 damage. Kurt gets to the top of the ramp. That's it. Yeah. And finishes with his emotions intact. At least I didn't cry today. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even cry today. Right. Emily's last to go. Emily seems to have a vision problem. I cannot say anything. I've asked Emily if she needs glasses. I can already see. But she says her eyes are fine. Turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. Well, she completely relies on Scott to, to do all the thinking here. He'll crank it totally to the right. Perhaps Scott has to make all the decisions because Emily can't see the obstacles. I didn't see this thing about it. Why can't you see? I cannot have seen it. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. No, I cannot have seen. I've seen enough. We're sending Emily and all the bad drivers for an eye exam. The doctor's appointment will happen right after our annual parallel parking challenge. I... I can't see. Me too. This program is brought to you by Microsoft Live Search, where the more you search, the more chances you have to win prizes, like $10,000 cash or even a new Mitsubishi Lancer. Parallel parking in a tight space shouldn't be intimidating because it's actually very easy. To make sure Canada's worst drivers understand this all-important skill, they're about to get a parking lesson from our head instructor, Dan. So have you ever parallel parked before? No. No? We want to make sure that our back bumper is lined up here. With this car? With that car. Parallel parking is done in four steps. First, pull up beside the car you want to park behind. Then, turn your wheels toward the curb and reverse until you're on a 45-degree angle. Once you've backed in, turn your wheels towards the road and swing in. Do you think you're in? I think I'm in. That's the best I ever did. I would say that's a, 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 a per near perfect. It's challenge time. And the challenge is parking this family van in downtown Guelph in front of our boisterous crowd of onlookers. And Emily's first. Emily begins on a strange angle. 45 degree. Okay. Come back. Go straight. Go straight like that. For this challenge, the drivers have one minute to back in. Emily has nine seconds left. Come out. Straight back. Back. Straight back. Emily's time slowly runs out. If drivers fail to park, they must go around the block and try again. Wait. Emily needs to turn right, which, according to this sign, is illegal when the light is red. So, we can go high now. It's a red light for you. No, we go east street. This is like her green light. When Emily gets in position for her second attempt, her vision issues come up again. I... I can't see. Me too. Emily feels her way forward. Don't look at me. Until there's nowhere left to go. Incredibly, this is a huge improvement. Better than usual. Yeah, better than you know I before. Kurt's up next. Backing in, Kurt almost touches the car behind him. That's it. I'm parked. No. 
In Guelph, if you're more than 30 centimeters from the curb, you'll get a ticket. How far am I from the curb? That far. Oh, really? Moving forward, Kurt doesn't impress the peanut gallery. That's Kurt's first failure in front of our growing audience. On his second attempt, Kurt slides in just like he was taught. When it comes to parallel parking, Kurt's husband sees a new man. Much, much improved. Thank you. Yeah. Ashley's next. Ashley starts by losing her mind. Oh, I totally forget what he said. Everything he told me is blank right now. It's totally blank. Just settle down. I'm going to cry. I'm going to seriously cry. She just works herself up. This is stupid. She's a drama mama. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is a trick. There's no trick. You can fit. Ashley's 60-second time limit is... done. Oh! Ashley predicted failure, and she failed. Because I can't do it. You see me? I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't do it, so I'm not going to do it. Ashley tries doing it again. Oh, okay. But her anxieties are too overwhelming. Relax. I can't do it. Everything that he said is, like, gone. It doesn't look like she remembered anything that I taught her. I've got myself now. I've got myself. Frustrated, Ashley pulls forward without looking. Oh, oh my. We're going out. I'm out. If you make me hit something again, I'll stab you. I'm not making you do nothing. You're driving. You're ruining my life. You're a piece of. You can't. I don't want to do this. I'm going to break down. Ashley's emotions are driving her to ruin. That was horrible. That was the absolute worst thing ever. Lindsay is next. I used to be so good at this. Are you kidding me? Don't talk to me, TJ. Lindsay doesn't know exactly where her bumpers are. Am I hitting something? But she parks clean You're there. on her first attempt. Okay. I did it. Parking took Lindsay 52 seconds. Yeah, it takes a while when I do. But I did it. That's that's the point. I did it. Ken is next to try doing it. Okay, I'm um, oops, I gotta go back a little bit. Cut, 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 cut. Ken goes back a little bit too far. Oh. Headed for his second attempt. I wanna go home. Ken reveals he wants to quit rehab. But you're learning from it. I just want to go on with my own little life. And as long as I don't kill anybody and I kill myself, okay, but... Coming to driver's rehab is a cry for help. Come on, I'll help you. Staying in rehab is a battle. I'll be here. I'll help you this time. This time... Just go straight. Straight back. Ken does exactly what he did last time. Oh, too far. Rehab is a bitter pill that Ken has to swallow. This is good for him, very good for him. He's not a happy camper, but I think it's really good for him. Tegan is only 18, which means he's too young to get insured on our rental vehicle. Andrew's truck. He's in Andrew's truck, too. Tegan failed parallel parking on his license test. It is like impossible to get in there. But he got his driver's license anyway. I actually did pretty good, though. This guy's clueless. The flashing brake light on attempt number two makes it look like Tegan's having a muscle spasm. Poor Andrew's drunk. <laughs> Even constantly pumping the brake, Tegan hits the car in front of him. I'm done. I'm parked. Tegan's bad parking made a small spot smaller. The car must have moved down or something when I hit it the first time. Amy's next. On a city street, a driver parallel parking has the right of way. I can't go. I have to go around the...